What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 40 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. We are on, uh, what is it? Pony. Pony, uh, Breaker Coast. And, uh, we've got a battle there that it looks like we can avoid, and so I will. We got a TM over here. Frost Breath. That's a guaranteed crit. That makes it still, uh,. Not as strong as Ice Beam. Useful for breaking through defenses, I suppose, but... Also, risk of triggering Anger Point. You can use it as a combo. Uh, but I'm not going to battle this Pelipper. I'm just going to run away. Let's see. Looking at the map, this doesn't appear to be a really large area. I can't surf here, but I can fish. I don't really want to, though, so let's just pull that up immediately. I was just spamming. I spam A a lot, just in case I walk by um, something, like a hidden hidden item that I can grab. A little, ooh, shiny and green. Um... Sorry, I got a tweet. What have we? This is this has got to be something. So we got a little uh, puddle there. There could be a special. Aha! Too conspicuous, little rock. What are you doing at the end of a useless hallway with nothing? Uh, we've got a bubbling pool here. Um, that I'm gonna save. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'll fish once in here. If it's a Magikarp, though, I ain't coming back. But who knows? Last time, the last two times we fished in these little pools, we got something very cool out of them. It's a Whalmer. I already have a Whalmer, so I'm not going to catch another one. Unless it conveniently survives this moon blast, in which case I will catch another one. But I don't think it's going to conveniently survive this moon blast. I think it's going to conveniently die to the moon blast. And I think we're going to get a small amount of EXP and then be on our merry little way. Um, yeah. Into the cave we go. The cave of wonders. Nope, the ruins of hope. So they're down there. There's a Zygarde cube. Or something for my Zygarde. A strange creature. Hmm. The ruins of hope. What is this place? The air feels so oppressive. <laughs> you got that just from the air, did you, Lily? Good for you. But but if we go in there, maybe Nebby will return to normal. The people believe that the guardian deity of these ruins, Tapu Fini, can wash away the impurities with its mystic water. You think that'll work? Oh, honestly, Geo, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that Nebby gets back to normal, just to show you. So just wait, Nebby. This time, I'm gonna be the one who saves you. Come on, Geo, let's go. New and improved Lily. Z form Lily. Me he 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 he. Oh oh man, I didn't I didn't read what Rotom had to say. He's so witty. Aha. Are you gonna push those, Lily? You're gonna push those by yourself, huh? You need to move these huge rocks. That's what Grant Hurt Hapu's grandmother said, right? Nah, stop it, Lily. You're gonna hurt your back. It's heavier than words can express, she says. Uh, yes, I got it. I don't need a tutorial on how to press the B button. Look at those muscles. Push, shove, go. Machamp will give it, get us through these ruins. Alright. Alright. Machamp shove. Herk. I like how he's carrying me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't know that I needed to push it all the way there. Probably didn't. 
I don't think it matters. I think this one's just gonna become the floorboard when I uh, when I push this up into the hole. Uh, my phone is blowing up, and by blowing up, I mean I've received precisely two text messages, which is not really blowing up, but it is making noises. All right, my champ, carry me to victory. Hey, look, there's Hapu. Um. I've read about them, you know. Alola's sacred ruins and the guardian deities worshipped within them. They go wherever they want, so it's not easy to meet them according to the books I've read. But if they do, if they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. Alright. The book says that they are, well, capricious. Encounters with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why even coming here to these ruins hasn't evoked any response from Nebi. I love Nebby's little face. Bleh. Oh, there's Hapu. Ooh. Very cool, Hapu. If she turns around and her eyes were just missing, that would be like a really freaky moment. This could be like a psychological thriller. Mm-hmm. Something about, I give my thanks. Oh, it's getting religious for your great blessing. As kahuna, I will do my best for the people. You said there was no kahuna. Get your mind made up. And the Pokemon of Alola. Evil smile. Purple eyes. Ooh, exclamation mark. Oh, so you two were watching? <laughs> yes, Hapu. With that grin of yours. The Kahunas are chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living on the island each guardian watches over. Lily told me they're pretty new to our parts, Edgy. Oh, that you're pretty new to our parts. You came from, to Alola from far off. You must really be something then. I heard you were given sparkling stones by the Tapu, even as a stranger of our shores. Oh, my grandfather. He was also chosen for this honor, then he suddenly left. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not chosen by a Tapu. So I set out on his own island challenge to grow stronger. Lily, the kahuna you wish to meet is right here. Aha, of course. Then please, kahuna Hapu, Hapu tell me about legendary Pokemon. Yes, please do. Do you want to know about Lunala? Who we pay tribute to at the Altar of the Moon. My mother disappeared into the beast's world. I know that she was a terrible person, but she is still my mother. I need to see her again to tell her something. This is why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for its help. The legendary Pokemon who is the only one who can go back and forth between the worlds. Apparently not, because your mother did it, so... The world of beasts, eh? Is that what it's thinking of Pony Island? A beast, Tapu Fini, and I tried to fight it, but it nearly did us both in. We did not stand a chance. So Ultra Beasts are stronger than the Tapus, huh? Tapu Hapu. Alright. I will tell you what I know. Thank you, Hapu. 
Wait, hold on. Have all of the kahunas... What have we had? Nanu, Hapu, and Hala. I'm forgetting the one on Mele Mele. No, I'm not. That one was Hala, the second island. Uni Uni. Olivia. Never mind. Uh, but what I know is not much, just that there is a ceremony held for legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that uses two somehow gives legendary Pokemon power. Oof. This is getting dry. This is the Sun Flute. Oh, the flute used to reside in the lake in Ula Ula. The other is said to be held on Executor Island. I do not know why there of all places, but it has been passed down, and that's where it belongs. Executor Island. I think I've read about it before. It's an uninhabited island off the coast of Pony. Isn't that right? Nod, nod. Yes, and no reason to dally here. Let us go to speak to the Sea Folk's chief. Lily, you take Mudsdale. We proceed to Sea Folk Village. So why did we, we came all the way here just to chat? I don't know that we really needed to do that. Don't let Hapu leave us eating dust. Back to Sea Folk Village on the double. Is there anything going on in here? He reached out and touched the statue, but there's no reaction. Huh, that's unfortunate. So that's it, huh? Came all the way here. Avoiding dastardly time-consuming foes just to... Just to chat with Hapu. She couldn't have just told us all of that. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna circle out here. I'm looking at the map. It looks like we could just uh, fly on back to the Seafolk Village. Looks like there's a couple of places we've still got to explore on this island. I got another tweet. Maybe I should turn off Twitter. I keep getting distracted looking over to it. So, let this be a shameless plug. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> when this is done... When I'm done with this playthrough, maybe I'll uh, I'll ask for some Wi-Fi battles. Thank you, Hapu. And thank you, Mudsdale. That's what friends do. That's... An amazing trainer like Hapu considers me a friend? You don't say that out loud, Lily. That's kind of awkward, you social butterfly, you. Thank you, Hapu. I will not give up no matter what. She didn't... She didn't say anything about that. There's no... It's just unrelated. To journey to Executor Island, you should speak with the Chief of the Sea Folk. I shall be wishing for your safety. <laughs> That's what I imagine what Mudsdale was saying there. Alright, he's going to take us on that really dangerous looking top heavy Magikarp boat, I'm assuming. If we're hoping the Sea Folk will give us a ride, then I guess we should talk to their Chief. Oh, look, there's a little Pelipper flying in the background. See him? Cool. Nope, 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 nope. Entered the wrong place. I don't need this. I don't need this pressure. Get on the Tauros. Head out California way. I think this is still not the right place. Where are we going? There we go. Hello, Chief. Ho! Did you find her? Yes, and Hapu was made the new kahuna. Oh, that's right. His voice is... Oh, ho! Now that's a joy to my ears. Her old grandfather must be shining, smiling down on us. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, Hapu will do her best for her late grandfather. And I must do my best for my mother's sake. And for Nebi as well. And so, there's a place we need to go. Executor Island. Executor Island? Oh, you mean where the flute is. Well, you two did meet the kahuna already, and Pony's captain ain't around anyway, so I guess there's no point waiting on any trials. All right, the SS Magikarp will have you there, and you'll think you're sailing in a dream. Hmm. Thanks, Cap'n. I love your crunch. He's teaching us, he's like, the exits, as you can clearly see, are here and here. There's almost no walls in this boat. You can fall out easily. 
etc. I'll be fine. I probably should have just taken Sharpedo over there. I really didn't need that stupid Magikarp boat. Ha! Here we are at Executor Island. I heard this place used to be a trial site, though. That was a long time ago now. You go on. Good luck to you both. Let's go find the flute, right? Trainers really can't go really can't go anywhere as long as they have their Pokemon, can't they? I think I'm beginning to understand the appeal. So why don't you train something? Oh, now she's got the how thing going on. She's like waving. I'm like two centimeters away from her. Ho 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 ho. He's laughing at her. That's kinda rude. She can see you, but alright. I don't know what we'll find at the Executor Island. That is where we're going. I know what we'll find here. I bet there's an executor. Or execute or something. Like any trainers can open up the door to any future as long as they have their Pokemon. Oh my god. Drone. Oh. What is that, Geo? Is there a Pokemon in the tree? Is it a Fromantis? <laughs> Holy. Oh my god. No way. What? Oh my god, it's neck is so long. <laughs> wow, that is, uh, that is cute AF. I'm catching this thing. Oh my god, that's so cool. Um, I'm assuming it's still grass type, so it should resist this. Oh my god, that did nothing. That did so little damage. What? What are you? What are you? What are you? Er, I don't think a third one will kill him, but I also think I could just sing. Nope. Apparently not. Psy shock. He's got all the makings of the exact same Pokemon. Resists my water type, so he's grass. Hitting me with that psychic. Well, now you're sleeping. Oh, it's daytime. I can't throw a dusk ball. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. Well, ultra ball it is. Getting the ball. Oh my god, he had to shrink so much to fit inside that. You were very tall. You're a tall gentleman, Mr. Executor. Mr. Executor? Oh. I'm gonna nickname him. Mr. Executive. Ha. Take that. That probably won't fit. Look at him. Look at his stupid faces. And his long neck. Are you special? Grass Dragon? Oh, that's cool typing. So that makes sense why I did so little damage. It was quad resisted. As it grew taller and taller, it outgrew its reliance on psychic powers, while within it awakened the power of a sleeping dragon. See, now this is interesting. Are you... So you're claiming that this is the new new. Like, this is the evolved form. But it's a dragon, and it's on a secluded island. See, I would say this is how it was, and it evolved a bigger brain and gain psychic powers for all the other islands. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. Do you think Mr... If it won't fit, I could always go for Mr. Finance. Exec, Utiv... No, not gonna fit. How about just Mr. Exec? I got another one, I'll nickname him the boss. That was cool. Send him to the box. Grass Dragon. That is great typing. If you, you know, really want to die to ice. Phew, that was an executor, wasn't it? I think that the good weather in Alola has let it grow a bit more vigorously than I'd prefer. 
<laughs> oh, you made a joke. You're you're hilarious. I could keep exploring Executor Island all day. Let's find more of those giant heads. Um, all right. Let's get a little sniff going. The camera angle here is just so close to me. Uh, there's some grass, and I'll I'll do a quick check, but I'll do it off camera just to see if there's anything worth catching here outside of the executor. Probably some execute. All right, I'll take an execute also. Get in the ball. I actually edited around. This is my second battle against them because I accidentally O code them in the first battle, thinking that they had survived the sparkling aria. They sure didn't. They sure didn't, Cotton. Alright. Now I got some eggs that are cute. We've got some eggs that are guitars. 
and uh, we fill that in a single page. So the regular little guys, they're still grass psychic. Send them to the box. We out here. Okay. That's enough for me. Ooh, the rain. Raindrops falling on my head. Ooh, it started to rain. Yeah, let's run for that cave because water, water can hurt us, but a deep, dark cave that we don't know what's hiding inside it. Rain in Alola, huh? My skirt got a bit wet. The, again, the start of every porno. Reminds me of this one time when I was little. I'd seen it in a movie. This man singing and dancing in the rain. Yeah, it's called Singing in the Rain. Captivated me, captivated me so much that I had to try it. My mother spotted me out in the rain and she was so shocked that she ran right out after me without even bothering to get an umbrella. And then she smiled and she danced with me in the rain. Of course, we both ended up catching a cold. She let me sleep in her big bed with her. I was so happy that I kept, wa I kept waking her again and again just to make sure it wasn't a dream. But then she changed. All she would think about was the Ultra Beast and Null and Nebby. They both ended up suffering so much and I couldn't do anything. But you know what, Gio? Whenever I feel like there's nothing I can't do, you seem to show up and you do something. Every time, you've shown me what's possible. It's possible to do something. Even when we first met, Nebby was being attacked and all I could do is look in horror. At Aether Paradise, all I could do was wait for you and the others to save me. Whenever I'm in any sort of trouble, you're always there. I... Um, Gio, what are you going to do once you finish your island challenge? Probably I'll fill my Pokedex. It must be nice, knowing what you want to do. I really admire that. What would you have said if I didn't know what to do? I think I'd like to become a trainer too, and travel the world with you, Geo. Mouth agape. What are you so shocked by? And Geo's just sitting there, like the pimp that he is, just like, shades on, like, yeah. Admit it, Lily, you're in love with Geo. Ah! Rainbow. Nice. Maybe they really are good omens sometimes, wouldn't you say? That's true. That's true. Alright, so what are we done here? Uh, Lily ran ahead somewhere. Where did she go? Ugh, why does she get lost all the time? Dang, even Rotom is throwing shade at this girl. Got an item. Prism scale. Very cool. Okay. I'm just... Oh, I knew it. But it's upstairs, I think. Yeah. Sniff it out. Sniff it out, Stotland. There it is. Heart scale. Very cool. I use that to remember moves. I use those a lot in competitive. Where are we going? Conspicuous rock? Nope. Bush? I can't get it. Guys, <laughs> where is it? Is it inside that rock? All right, Tauros, get me there faster. Aha. Big old pearl. All right, let's keep moving. Anything up here? <laughs> Sniff it out, Stoutland. Come on, buddy. Give her. All right, we're done. We're done here. There's just, je like, wind hasn't knocked that off, and no one's decided to come here and take it? Will you take the flute? I... There's no sign saying I need permission. Now we have the sun and the moon flute. At least we can try and summon it. Yeah. Let's go back to the chief of sea folk and get, or, yeah. Alright. Get back to Pony Island. We're all done here. What are we going to do with these flutes? Look at you, trial goer. You going to the altar to play the flutes? The altar lies all the way through the vast Pony Canyon. It's a long road there. The path is like nature's own trial. Good luck to you, friends. And why don't you stop by and tell Hapu that you're going off before you go? 
Pelly is like. Oh no, that's not Pelly. Pelly is the one for the the shop owner, right? The vast canyon all the way in the ancient pony path where Hapu lives. Can I fly to Hapu? Hmm. That would be a nay. That would be a strong nay. <laughs> Get it, guys? Because she has... She's got a horse. Horses go nay. So does Tenacious D. They have that one song. They're like, and we said nay. We are but men. Rock. And then they hit that high note. Don't ask me to hit it. If you ask me, even if you ask me politely, I will say no. I shan't hit the high note. All right, maybe I'll try. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, is Hapu in the house? Probably not. Because the flag suggests she's to the right. I gotta look at the map more. Come on, Gio. You're messing up. Up here? Oh! 6v1? Only one girl. One in six? You're from Team Skull. What is it that you want from us? Here they come. I heard about you numb skulls at Aether. Do you really want to know a way to save our boy Guzma? What? We can make you talk. Wait, hold on. How does she do it? Ugh. I need to get this voice back. Let me see. Dos Vordania. We can make you talk even if you have to cut you to the bone. No. How am I not doing it? I'm missing her voice. I'm missing it. I can't get it right. <sighs> Do I really have to fight six team skulls right now? I am not in the mood. Team Skull Grant. Oh, thank God she's only got one Pokemon. Please tell me I don't have to fight six, though. I really don't want that. So you cut me to bone. Ouch. Oh, there's Plumeria again. Doesn't matter, yo. We'll come after you with all our Pokemon all at once. Little home slice. We'll give you 200% to save our boy Guzma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad. What do we got? There's another one at a time battle. Yeah. He's got five, so maybe they're just, maybe it's just the other five. All right. So what is, this is a boss battle, I take it. So I'm not going to cut this. You guys are going to watch me decimate this Team Skull thug. Get Sparkling Aryad, oh my goodness. Directly in your stupid Salandit face. You're supposed to be the fairy killer. I'm the future. My bro dinging. He wants to learn close combat? Heck yes. Drop that dizzy punch. Look, bro, we gotta get you in here, man. Marini? Mm, not really an ideal Pokemon for you to take on. I don't really have anyone that wants to take on Marini. Bugmitude, maybe? Hit him with that spark, though. Marini. I outspeed him too. Man, Marini's a slowpoke. I mean, he's not the Pokemon slowpoke. He's just he's he's not quick. I guess is kind of what I'm kind of what I'm getting at. Eradicate. There we go. Now we're talking. Get McBro in here. 
If I wanted to get cocky, I could power up punch once or twice and try and sweep the rest of this match. I'll get cocky. Oh no, he's got double edge. Ouch. That's a two hit KO. Well, shucks. Ah, good. I took him out. Dang. You strong, little crab brawler. Haunter. Uh, let's keep it going. I can take one, right? As long as it's not a crazy high-powered attack. Let's hit him with a Pursuit. Shadow Ball. Oh, that's kind of high power. Ah, no. <laughs> the fact that McBro is kind of weak is starting to rear its tiny little face. That's alright, Incineroar. Clean up crew. Hit him with that Lariat. I'm gonna resist that. I don't care about your Shadow Balls. I'm a Windmill ya. Kindly return to your home. Go back to your Pokeball. Incineroar means business. It's business time. Gold bat. Ugh. Finish this man's whole career. Whenever I read Vino Shock in my head, I just immediately go to wine. And I'm just thinking like Like some person like swishing it around in a glass. They're like, hmm. Hmm. Vino shock. Something like that. Golbat goes down. You're welcome. <laughs> My girlfriend just arrived, so that's why you keep seeing me look away from the camera over here. I'm not giving. I'm not giving up, even though you beat me. I'm part of Team Skull. We're thick as anything. Oh, dang, sexy, thick. <laughs> he said that. His words, not mine. That's enough. No one wants to see a sore loser. Okay, Plumeri is just sitting there chilling. We saw her earlier. They're trying to act like we're all surprised to see her, but I'm not because we saw her earlier. Ugh, I guess we have to do another battle. Lily, right? Well, I'm not Lily. She's Lily. You want to do this finally? To be honest, I've treated you really badly. Even if I was just doing the work the president told me to do, I shouldn't have done all that. Even if I apologize now, I know it's probably too late for you to forgive me, though. Aw, Pl Plumeria, that's so nice of you. See, Guzma... <laughs> See, Guzma, he really likes the president. She's the only she's the only adult who ever seemed to see how strong he was. The president, my mother, she is selfish. She lavishes her love only on those she deems worthy, not caring whether it is wanted or not. But I will save her. I still have something I need to tell her. And I think I can save Guzma as well. Who cares about Guzma? You know, deep down, you're kind of like the president. Ooh, that's really mean. That's a really mean thing to say. All right, I'm done with this conversation. We get it. Plumeria, you're a good guy now. Little kid Geo just standing there with his glasses. You did stand up to Team Skull. Looks like you're the real deal, the realest trainer around. Take good care of little princess. I'm sorry. Here's Poisonium Z. Heck yes. Danke Shin. Oh, yeah. You got your first stone directly from Tapu Koko, didn't you, Gio? You better take care of it. That's one special Z ring. A trainer's only a trainer because of the Pokemon with them. Yes, I know. My girlfriend is literally kneeling on the ground right next to me. Just barely off camera. I'm about to... No, it's not. <laughs> I suppose even Team Skull is not all that bad. Thanks for helping me, Gio. And here, let me thank your team, too. She just did this. Yeah, Go team, although she probably healed them. All right, let's go to the altar. The vast Pony Canyon lies ahead of us. It sure does. And if it's as vast as you say it is, then it's going to have to be something that we do in episode 41. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we're going to tackle Pony Canyon next time. 
Uh, hopefully this will go up the same day as two other episodes prior, if I can edit it and upload it quickly enough. Um, and if you're, so if you're seeing this, just know that I'm about to enter another stretch of work days, so I probably won't upload for the next couple of days. Um, but I will be back. We will finish this together. I promise you that much. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.